Adding an animal. In the basic tab, you will find all the information that identifies the animal. A link to the breeding establishment, the animal's name, this results in the full name of the animal, the link to the father and the mother, a breeding book, breeding book number, chip number, tattoo number, breeding book class, breed gender, date of birth, date of death, age, the, whether the animal is capable of pairing or if the animal is excluded from breeding. In order to establish a link to the breeding establishment, search the database and choose breeding establishment. Or alternatively, you might not want to establish a link to the breeding establishment. If this is the case, you can enter the full name of the animal. For the father and mother, you can also search the database and select the father or the mother. In the breeder and owner tab, you will find the current owner and breeder of the animal. This is where you can also administer whether the animal is for sale. Once you assign a new owner, it appears in the owner history. You can upload multiple photos in the photo tab. The preview image is scaled down, but the link to the original file remains. This allows you to use Chromosoft as a picture archive. The only limit? The file size is limited to 2 megabytes. In the Further Information tab, you will find all the parameters that you need to further specify the animal, namely in the form of checkboxes, text boxes, a drop-down menu with predefined values, or as a combo box, which is a mixture of a text box and a drop-down menu. The Findings and Reports tab is the same as Further Information, with the difference that you can upload the original findings for each parameter. Simply select a PDF or JPEG and load it onto the Chromosoft server. The current findings are always linked directly. Once you upload more than one finding to a parameter, you get the new icon with the clock. It's where you always have a summary of the findings history. For example, there are clubs that require an annual eye examination. As such, you can upload a finding each year. In the Key Data tab, you will find the key genetic data of the animal and the six summary pages as already discussed in video number two. If you manage frozen semen depots, you could keep a record of them in the Sperm Bank tab. Important to note that after each change, you need to click on the Save in the respective tab.